Hello, hello everyone! It's Marta here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm delighted that you've decided to spend some time with me today watching this video and I hope painting along with me, painting those beautiful flowers. As you can see I was practicing today and trying to learn more about one stroke painting technique. It's easy, it's for everyone, but there's few little tips and tricks and things that are quite important in order to actually be able to follow up and to create uh, something nice. I hope to walk you through my process while I'll be painting and I hope you will join me, grab some paints, brushes and paint with me. So let's do it, uh, let's do it together. Mm, differently to the previous video where we were painting flowers, I will use Flow Improver. I've seen professional painters using that and it's for paint to move, to flow, to have a better a mix. Uh, so I hope this will help. The price is $10.99. And before you ask me what paper I use, I got that uh, because it was quite good price. I found 450, and it was 30 of those nice different color, um, and it's very thick because it's 250 uh, gm. It's very very good thick paper, so that's why I got. I actually got three, three, <laughs> three literally. I'll show you. I got three because I found that I've never seen them before so yes and flow improver I will I will put my oops I can't open now I will put it a, li a little bit here I've seen people professional painters using it so I said you know what I'm gonna chance it and try it this time using this magical thing and I've used those two uh, paints white and purple and that's the colors we will try to use today i hope <laughs> i hope it will work and i hope it will be pretty feel free to use any color you wish but it would be good to use white and something else um, another thing that you will need is flat brush uh, and let's start off basically with dipping in one corner of my brush and another corner of my brush in white color and in purple color you can see that and going down on the side oops that mixed up but that's okay uh, maybe my picking up I used it in the wrong section that's okay and here I can go here maybe it will be better there you go and I will you see my improver it says use it in the water and I've seen people using them separate to the water so I decided to do that and one thing is before you start putting your first strokes you can go three times dipping your brush in the paint and I'm somehow I'm accidentally mixed up with the red here I do it again and I'm quite happy with that red tint let's try and let's see and it's you have to kind of press it hold it and make sure that you will stick to there we go and it's like a motion of movement shh, 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 shh. there we go so we have one petal it's like a little shell thing and we are gonna do exactly the same thing yet again press 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 one or two times it's up to you they say every two goes to use the flow improver I don't know I I, look, I'm chancing it <laughs> with you. Maybe it's too much. I don't know. It's good to overlap one uh, petal over another one. And as you can see, it's at the angle that it's kind of lying down on my... It's like it's not like this upright. It's not like this. It's something in the, in the middle. And it's definitely like like a can you see like this the, the the bristles are touching my fully my my paper it's like you have to rest it and lie down and when it's rested and lie down this is when you start moving that makes sense so let's do it again let's continue and make sure you have enough paint loaded on your brushes on your brush because otherwise you will just basically not be able to finish your petal and that's what I've learned from my today's I'm gonna bring that closer maybe that's what I've learned <clears throat> today from my trials basically 
okay so I'm gonna overlap this again oh there we go the shape of your petal it's up to you um, I kind of leave it to however it works however it happened naturally I leave it to it okay like this is a bit fatter this is slimmer with the that's okay I really I'm trying to show you the more of more than anything the technique than concentrate on finished piece I hope it's gonna be pretty though but uh, and, and I've also learned that it looks nicer when the white is outside rather than up opposite and I'll show you that in a minute yet again I'm gonna overlap my uh, petal beautiful Marta well done <laughs> this is easy part then it's getting harder and harder but we do it we will do it together and I'm gonna learn that with you today same when you pr when you pressing you make sure that you have enough paint on all the bristles not only at the edge not only on the like more than half I would suggest <clears throat> to have and let's overlap our petal again oh my paint I feel it's nearly finishing at least the edges does not look good but that's okay that's what we have at the moment now we are gonna concentrate on creating the in the middle part which is for me difficult because I would I am I'm good with the strokes I've practiced enough <laughs> but the middle part oh no that's a different story but hey we tried oh I forgot about medium you see I didn't dip it so it's possible maybe that's why it got worse here because I didn't dip it in the medium the flow medium so I'm gonna do it now I want to make sure that <clears throat> my middle part will be okay because it's a middle part it's important <laughs> so yeah once again okay <clears throat> and I will create this kind of what's that word uh, like like a crying thing you know what I'm talking about, not crying thing, like uh, <laughs> You know when you cry and you have them things on your cheek, what you call that shape. Yeah, you know, you know, you, I know you know. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little medium again because I'm worried that it's not that perfect. But here. Now the darker part goes in there and I'm starting with the edges to edges. To close it. Woohoo! Marta! Well done! Now it's the hard part yet again. <laughs> hard part yet again. Okay, dip it in. My purple is finishing, so I should add oops, I should add some purple now to my now I'm using the I'm using the the professional palette thing but the uh, the uh, what you call it the parchment the parchment um paper for baking works beautifully equally well <clears throat> i just dipped in into the par red purple slate. now this is a definitely improvised part guys so i'm going to try to make some smaller petal going kind of there going around that middle part and trying to close it somewhere closer and yeah wish me luck so kind of going here I like the color and close it we're gonna do same thing now we're on this and I'm using my right hand and that's a definite oh I've just changed the color by accident <laughs> <laughs> to the dark one here instead of bright one that's okay I leave that that's a mistake but that's okay you know what I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave that because I love it anyway <laughs> okay that's what we have now 
add more paint, add more paint and mix it, improver, mix it, mix it. <clears throat> I'm gonna swap to the brighter now. It's going to, it could be a hot mess because the paint is not dry but I'm gonna chance it. That's okay. <laughs> Maybe I'm even able to fix it. We shall find out that together. Okay, that's fine. I will try to fix it. I will try to fix it. Um, so let me dip it in. <clears throat> and the improver. Dip it in again. Okay, Marta, here we go. <laughs> so opposite to that. Let's see if I can fix it. Yeah, I can. A little bit. I'm not saying it's that ba better, but... It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. My dad would say Stegosin is Trela, which is which means you don't shoot from that. It's fine. <laughs> uh, so that's what my dad would say. He would go relax. It's fine, Marta. Just doesn't have to be perfect and precise. So <clears throat> okay, what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna go with that again. Here, I hope to. maybe make some smooshes to make it even more now I'm afraid I'm making a little bit of a mess but that's okay and I have a feeling that my brush is the white is not white enough so I'm gonna do it again properly mm-hmm and maybe the improver will help now Okay. Mm hmm What can I do with it? I'm not that fully uh, convinced about it. Okay, oh that's nice. That that can finish off like this. I'm gonna leave it at that. It's not perfect. But it looks like a flower to me anyway. <laughs> so let's try and make some. Uh, let's try and make some pe 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 leaves now. So I need green pe uh, paint. Okay, I have my palette here. Oops, green and white. Mhm. Mm I'm gonna clean off my brush. Clean off my brush, and I'm gonna dip in the edges, the edges, yeah, the edges of my brush, and just go here and dip in in my fluid, and my fluid again. So maybe three times around or more to make sure that you have enough paint on your bristles. Okay, I think we are very much ready. <laughs> okay, how I'm gonna go about that now? Um, <laughs> it's so strange. Um, let me practice on something else because I think I'm not too very sure <laughs> how to do it. But I think it's like this. Yeah, you see, you need most definitely enough paint on your bristles. Mm -hmm. Let's do it again. And before the second go, I should most definitely try and make the make the dip in more paint mm, difficult is it don't give up Marta 
Don't give up. Flow improver. Maybe I don't have enough of the improver thing. Okay, let's do it again. No, it just does not happening. I'm gonna change it to a different green because maybe this is the reason. Maybe paint is just not happening. Um, you know, maybe that's the reason. I don't know. It's just not enough paint on my bristles when I'm trying to make my uh, my strokes. So let's try this one. An improver. I'm gonna just oh, put it there. And let's see now. Let's see now. <clears throat> I think I'm just not the best in it. I'm bad in the flower and the like I can do petals, no problem. You know? Petals fine, but whatever happens with the leaves <laughs> it's just not happening for me. Let's try it again. In the meantime I was trying and trying and wasn't working so I looked at others doing their uh, <laughs> leaves and we need a brush that is at this angle and what I'm gonna do is this is very cheap brush I am gonna cut it and hope that <laughs> that this will help uh, basically so let's try and let's do that we need a brush at the angle and I don't have it so I will try to see if I can do it like that it could be a total disaster but I have plenty ordinary brushes and I don't mind if I lose one so okay not that easy <laughs> I'm not a hairdresser, so mm, oh, we kind of there. Oh wow, we, <laughs> we kind of there. Okay, okay. <laughs> if this is not gonna work, I'm gonna buy a brush. Okay, let's try. Let's uh, let's try, and let's see if this will work at all. <laughs> Okay, so dip it in in the dark, dip it in in the white, and oh, I'm guessing it's gonna work, guys. It is gonna work. Okay. <laughs> it's not the best, the bristle is very thick. I'm not giving up, I'm gonna try it once more. I don't have I don't have white oh I have white here okay I'm not giving up I'm gonna chance it and try and that's it maybe I need my surface to be properly flat It kind of works, but mm, not the best. Uh, let's try and do it again with the brush without a bristles being on the side. Uh, will this be possible or not? Or not?
yeah we need that that chisel here going there so that's that would be done with the brush at the angle unfortunately but we can do just yeah not even this it doesn't even want to do the line why is that is this my brush or what I'm gonna give it a try <clears throat> once more once more with my uh, hand cut <laughs> brush that's what I will do <clears throat> that's what I will do The minus of that is the, the, it makes the the strokes the the brushes the brush the, the 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 hair is not the best quality it's very hard so that's why it makes those not so nice not so even not so pretty looking strokes and this is probably where we fail with the look for our uh, for our um, leaves. But I'm tempted to finish, so... <laughs> I'm gonna just do it with what I have, and that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it with what I have, and be brave, Marta. Okay, <laughs> can you see what I see? It's okay. It's okay. This one is better. <laughs> but nothing is lost yet. We can still fix it. I hope. Okay, I'm gonna use my right hand. Will I? I will. And that is super bad. But that's okay. I'm gonna do it again. This one was not too bad, but it didn't do this line, so why is this happening? I wonder. Where is my technique lacking? It's lacking somewhere. You know what? I probably shouldn't even post this video with all these upside downs and things looking really bad. But I'm gonna do it. I will actually post it. Uh, as you're watching it, it's posted <laughs> because all we see are those gorgeous no mistakes videos so I'm, I'm gonna post this one with how much struggles I had to try and create something super pretty and it just didn't work so I'm not really um, I hope it will be a good lesson for us all basically that sometimes you need to have a proper tools and patience and when you see videos and you think that oh they've done it so effortlessly and it just works for them and doesn't work for me maybe because they've done it 20 million zilliard times so instead of comparing yourself to all of those people on the internet start believing that not everything what you see is so perfect because they've tested practiced it a million times before they shoot the video so instead of not showing you this with upside upside downs and with just not being perfect at all I will basically post this I hope <laughs> it will be a proof that learning curve is the most important 
part guys in our process whether you artist whether you uh, make videos whether you trying to sell things it doesn't matter what you're doing we all learn by practice and every skill needs practice isn't it so I hope for next time I will improve <laughs> my petal my 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 leaves and hope to show you something nice and help you and figure out what I've done wrong that it just didn't work that nicely as I wish basically that's what I will do I'll try to find out what's the story here what's the story Jack Canary that it just didn't happen to be so pretty I'm trying to fix it now a little bit with dots because dots are always good addition <laughs> or maybe I'm just gonna just I'm gonna just do this only and just sprinkle with the spark with the uh, what you call it yeah just like that just like that just like that so I really hope you enjoyed my struggles my trials my looking for answers video and I hope that uh, you will still try to create your own and maybe you have some tips for me what have I done wrong where should I go with it and how to improve my painting because I would like that I would like to know why it didn't work especially the because I think my flower was not too bad but why why the why the leaves weren't really great why is that I wonder I wonder I really 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 wonder that now <laughs> I'm just gonna make last dots now hope that this will make a miracle <laughs> a miracle here and it will be just nice <laughs> and it will change the painting to a pretty pretty painting now dots are always good help <laughs> so I'm gonna add so many dots that nobody will even see the leaves being so bad <laughs> uh, anyway I'm, I should sign that because I should <laughs> there we go and our struggled flower painting is done I really do hope that this was a good lesson for you and I opener maybe that uh, we all have moments or projects or disciplines or things we do that they not really always work for us it's not that perfect as we wish I hope this was um, inspirational in all ways uh, and I hope you you enjoyed it regardless so thank you so much for your time as always I promise to be back do let me know uh, your thoughts on it what have I done wrong what should I improve where should I go I have seen videos and it's just not working so I wish you to tell me physically in your answers what could be done better uh, in order to make it better I know practice but is there something else I'm missing is it the brush is it uh, the type of paint what would you suggest I will much appreciate that I still like it I think it's nice I think it's nice abstract dish kind of uh, looking flower so yes thank you so much everyone I love you loads and I will chat to you super soon bye bye bye